Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to the Yankee Victor 400 channel. You are about to get a glimpse of how most of the Yankee Victor 400 content is created. Please enjoy. to expose and compose the frame as desired before releasing the shutter, the photo editing process is greatly simplified. Just some subtle sharpening for good measure. This is the same process most photos go through, with some exceptions. Now it's time to export the file. Jorge keeps all his photos in an external drive and has a quick access tab for his model's album. This is the first time Swissair models are photographed by him, so a new album has to be created for them. Since two different airplanes were photographed, a sub-album has to be created for each one of them. Finally, the image is resized so that the file is more manageable, but a decent level of resolution is kept. The image, which came out of the camera in RAW format, is exported as a more versatile JPEG file. While we are here, let's see some photos!
A maximum of 5 photos can be uploaded simultaneously using the Yankee Victor 400 upload form. Since all the photos will share the same data, they must be of the same model. Jorge does not need to type his email address since he knows where to find himself at all times. But if you decide to upload photos to Yankee Victor 400, a valid email address is necessary. It is a rudimentary method, but it works. After the photos are approved, they will appear on the Yankee Victor 400 photo gallery for all to enjoy. Since we are working with two similar models, Jorge has also decided to write a Versus series blog post around these photos. You can find a link to the finalized article in the description of this video. You might have noticed that the Swissair MD-11 by Phoenix Models that was unboxed at the beginning of this video had a bad paint chip on the right side of the tail engine intake. Jorge didn't realize this until after the first photo shoot was done. This was a nice excuse to leave the indoor man cave and head out to the paint shop on a rather nice spring day in Houston, Texas. After the model was repaired, some more photos were taken, this time using natural light that was coming through the blinds. You can see all these photos on the article linked on the description of this video. Besides sharing them online, don't forget to display your models and enjoy them yourself and with those close to you. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this kind of content, please let us know by liking and subscribing. Also, follow Yankee Victor 400 on Facebook and Instagram with the links in the description. And don't forget to visit our site at www.yankavictor400.com.